hello people uh, this is my another video um, if you see my old videos i wrote i developed i created one of the video that is uh, web scrapping in the python fetch in python to fetch the live stock price actually so this video is basically to fetch the live stock price from the nsc exchange now for example if you want to fetch that uh, what is the stock price of asian paint or hdfc then this is a this is a program written in the python to fetch the live stock price so uh, one of the comment uh, which i got from the one of the audience his name is hitesh shekhat and hitesh shekhat shown is just interest that when if uh, we can store the data which is uh, fetched from this program in some file so maybe his intention is to store the data in some file and then further use for the some analytics purpose so based on his interest i'm i'm uh, creating this tutorials that how we can uh, store the livestock price in a csv file uh, and then further we can use for the any other uh, purpose like like i said that uh, analytics or analyzing that how the stock price is fluctuating so um, let me go before that one see uh, this code is already written if you see my previous video that whole code is available and full tutorial is available so if i go and repeat all the things it is basically uh, a time taking process and there is no use because there is already one video is there but in a brief i will tell you that when there is a certain python library and here i'm also using uh, web scrapping technique to fetch the live stock price and the web scrapping technique is bs4 beautiful soup you can see that one so this is the function which fetches the stock price okay detail is there uh, in the previous video i have a one uh, uh, jupyter notebook tutorials where step by step i have explained all the things that how it works so in this video you keep in mind that one this function is basically when we pass a stock code uh, this function return the uh, the current stock price so what i did here actually um, <clears throat> uh, i have created uh, a file uh, output.csv file um, or you can say that one stock nsc stock or maybe um, i will do like this one we'll move this line from here to here and i will do like that when i say stock price i will do like this and i say stock um, stock price stock price plus underscore nsc stock price so what it will do that one the argument for example i'm passing an argument for the hdfc to fetch the live stock price so it will create a file hdfc underscore nsc stock dot csv file and it will store the data in that csv file because the csv file is easy to open in the it is a comma separated file easy to open in the microsoft excel and then you can plot the graphs and all the things and you can analyze the data so simple this line is to open the file based on the name and then uh, i have a two more argument here one argument is the stock price and second is iteration the how many um, iteration you want that one you want live stock price uh, 100 live stock price or 200 or 300 whatever uh, and third is what is should be the interval uh, for each uh, stock for example it will write one stock price it will write the value of the stock price and then after two minutes you want to write the value because actually that if it is so fast maybe it will be a huge file but you will not get a very uh, good result uh, maybe the result is very good but the file will be very bulky so you can put some time like two second or three second so the d sleep is a delay sleep actually for example you can give any value like two three four five it is in the second and the iteration is a number of the iteration for example if you give 10 then it will print 10 values and if the sleep time is two then at the interval of two second so again here it is basically uh, it is taking the total iteration less than or equal to the number of the iteration which i passed it is taking current date and current time and the current stock price from this function which i have given here and it is printing on the screen as well as it is printing to the data file which i have created here okay once iteration is completed the file is closed very simple program 
very simple program. So um, uh, let me execute this program and show you. One more important point is basically, see this program is basically, I'm, I'm not writing with the intention that I'm teaching you Python. So I'm not adding too much validation and all the things. So for example, if you don't pass this argument, you may get some error. Okay, so please ensure that when you pass the proper value because I'm not doing so much validation, it will increase the length of the program. So hope you will do, particularly if you need that, uh, how to add some validation or something, uh, please put in the comment and I will, I will help you. So let me execute this program actually. Um, if I go back to the, my terminal. So see, this is the name of the file. It is a fetch and it's stock and I'm giving the code SPI N, it is the State Bank of India. I need total 10 iteration with the delay of one second. So it will print 10, uh, it will fetch the uh, State Bank of India stock price 10 time at the interval of one second. Let me put it, some mirror. Stock price is not defined. Wet line number 26. The stock, oh, sorry, it's not a stock price, it is a stock code here. <clears throat> so see it is printing state back of video, October 02, 2019, and this is the timing. See, you can see that the result is very constant because this time stock market is closed, it's a night time. I'm uh, writing these tutorials. So you can just uh, execute this program in the morning when the stock is open um, from 9 or 9.30 onwards actually in the working day. So this is the 10 times the file is printed. And if I go LSF and LTR, you can see that when it has created a file, SBIN underscore NNC stock CSV. Remember that one here, I've given this file name. So this file is created. And if I go to the Excel sheet, Open, browse. It's big in stock price. So you can see that when here the 10 stock price is available. Uh, what you have seen here on the screen, this one, it is available in the Excel file. And for example, you want to plot a graph versus time versus the stock price. You can select the record and you can go and you can fetch it. And you can see there's a straight line because actually the stock price is constant, 250 something is constant. Uh, let me execute the program again with some long range value. I'm changing this citation to um, because it's 20. And it is one second, I'm keeping that one. You can keep one second actually because it will take more time. It is going. It will be quick, it will not take too much time. 20 means 20 seconds. So hopefully it is done. It's done. Let me go and open the file again. Right there. And you can see that 120 files are here. We can plot the record by inserting the some graph. And it is constant because the stock price is not changing. It is a night time. So um, uh, if you have liked this video, uh, please put your comment and give me your feedback and let me know what else you want actually. Um, I'm very much interested that I should uh, create a video based on your interest actually what you need. I will push this code to the Git repository from where you can access this code and you can use, treat this code as your own code. There is nothing like that when it is my copyright. Thank you very much. Thanks for your timing.